guys. We are just leaving our house. Um, it's going to be a really good trip. It's going to be a long trip. So the car is really packed. Um, but I think we've got everything and hopefully we don't have to stop and get anything that we forgot. So going into work now, we actually have to work today, but as soon as work is over, then we're on our way to Grand Junction. Hey guys, so we have arrived to the campsite for night one. We're pretty close to the Colorado-Utah border. We're getting ready to make some food, which is just gonna be um, steak quesadillas. So we have reserved the spot uh, for tomorrow at Arches National Park and looking forward to that. So we'll see you guys in the morning. through the first night woke up a little earlier than expected and now we're headed to Arches National Park so we'll see you soon
dogs are begging, baby. You we don't just got listen. done walking up to the main arch here in Arches National Park. It was a hike. I kept thinking we're almost close and they were all fall summits, but we made it and we're gonna drive into downtown Moab, get a coffee, get a little beer. I don't know yet, but Something. we're done hiking for the day. Before we head to the White Rim Trail, we are going to camp at the at the La Salle Mountain for the night. And it looks a lot like Colorado, and we've seen a lot of cars with Colorado license plates, but which is kind of funny. As I started talking, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, I like to be just as surprised as everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> They're both right here, close. Oh, he's going for it. Oh. I missed him. <laughs> Good morning. Right now, I'm at 8,400 feet. It's a very cold morning, but we camped right next to a lake. I got the fishing gear. We already caught a bunch of fish yesterday. Threw almost all of them back, ate a couple. But gonna get a little fishing in this morning. Get the last of the mountains in before we go back into Moab. So I'll just quickly show you guys what I've got here. So I have a slip bobber down with a split shot weight. About eight inches down. Got a snap swivel down to half a worm on a tiny hook. And the trout have been going crazy for this. Got one on. So we've got this guy on the worm. He's an okay size, but I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. There's probably many more trout to be caught. We are about to leave the current camp spot. Um, there's another lake that's really close to here, like a uh, three minute drive away. So we're gonna go try and catch some more fish over there. Um, and then we're gonna go into Moab and hopefully get to take a shower and do a little laundry. So we made it to the second lake and there's this one clearing where you can see a ton of fish. Oops. I hope you can see that. Oh, yep. Hopefully we can catch one of these guys. Babe. I'm trying to get it past them so I can reel it in for a Hi. You got it. Yeah. Oh, he's beautiful.
The you though? Oh my gosh, he's a chunky man. He is pretty big, huh? Bueno. <laughs> oh. Wow, they, you cannot tell how. Everybody got scared. It's only been 40 seconds. Perfect. Got him. Got him. Beautiful. Yep, you got it. Mm-hmm. He's a nice one. Nice, that's a great one. Can you do this one? Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Nice. He's just little. Yeah, he looks little. Can I do another one? Was that your hook? Where's the bait? It's in my pocket. Oh. Yeah, you go one and you'll do the last one. Okay. Hmm? Maybe it is, yeah. Yep. All right, fishing's over. All right, well, we caught some fish, got some good videos. Um, now we're heading back to the car and then we're gonna head into Moab. So we'll see you guys then.
this will be our third year in a row um, seeing Tom at this time of year. The first time was when we met him, so looking forward to it. He invited us to Moab with him. So, awesome, Tom, see you soon. So we have arrived in camp. Cynthia's drying off lettuce and making sandwiches. Tom is over here. He has his trailer, but he's gonna be leaving that when we do the White Ram Trail. So we're just getting settled in for the night. Gonna try not to make a huge mess for tomorrow so that we can get out early and should be a good chill night. 